If you are one of the nearly 100 million Americans starting a New Year's resolution today, chances are you have vowed to, let me guess, improve your health for 2014. Whether your goal is to lose weight, to eat better, to exercise more, ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here to help with five easy ways to make 2014 the best year yet you in your it. life. That's right. So uh, let's start by talking about resolutions yeah. and how to yeah. pick a good one. Yeah, I mean, that's where a lot of people make a big mistake. They, they they choose something that is just so impossible to do that they're never going to succeed. So you want to pick something you really care about, all right? You want to pick something you can live with. So, you know, it has to be something that is doable in your life. And then you want to tell people about it because that will help keep your feet to the fire when it gets a little tough. Those three things will get you on the track. I never want to tell I know, I know, because, because I, you think. In case I don't do it. Right, because next week I'm going to blow it, so yeah. I don't want anyone to know. But so, I, yeah. I think that is smart to have uh, to have somebody yeah. watching you. And, kind of your coach. Yeah. You don't have to tell everybody, but tell somebody. Okay, yeah. so, so keep your goal, uh, you know, be, be real. That's right. That's right. Okay, so the five, the fives, yes. five simple things you can do to improve your health. The first one addresses the single most common New Year's resolution. That is, of course, losing weight. Yes. So losing weight, everyone wants to lose weight, and everyone wants to lose a lot of weight. They want to look like the models that they see here on GMA, but but that is is, is a goal for failure. So here it is. This is the fives. Five percent. If you can lose just five percent of your body weight, you're going to reduce your risk for diabetes, all kinds of medical problems, and five percent is doable. If you weigh two hundred pounds, 5% is 10 pounds, yep. right? And so if you set the goal, I'm going to lose 10 pounds over the next three or four months, you can do it. For a lot of people, that means just cut out the soda and you can lose, you can lose your 5% that way, okay? And make a change that you can live with and 5% is doable. 5%, very reasonable. Yeah. Uh, another one we all make, vowing to exercise more. Yes, you know, and their exercise is, is key. If you can say there that I'm going to take five minutes, all right? Five minutes. We always talk about you have to do 30 minutes Five, five times a week for, for your health. That's too daunting. It's daunting. How do you even start that if, you're, if your life is full? But five minutes, okay? And that can mean you're getting up from your chair. You're taking these, these mini breaks during the day. You're walking for five minutes. The thing we've learned is that the time you spend sitting at your desk is really bad for your health. So five minutes, five times a day, you've got 25 minutes there. You're walking around. You're checking in with people. You may go up and down the stairs, go around the block once. You're done. You can do it. You can do five All right. Minutes. And then I also like uh, your morning five. Yes. Your morning five. So we know that breakfast is really important. It's important to be able to concentrate at work. It's important for your kids to do well in school. But people say, I don't have time for breakfast. Take five minutes in the morning. That's all it takes for breakfast. Whole grain cereal with some fruit on there. Whole grain toast, toast to put a little peanut butter, some raisins on there. You can do that in five minutes, and you'll get off on the right foot. Yeah, it goes against everything you think. Oh, I'm going to eat less, but that's the one meal you yeah. don't want to skimp if you, on. If you skip breakfast, you're more likely to eat more across the entire day, and your total calories will be higher. Five minutes, that's all it, it takes to make yourself some toast. Yes. Um, this is interesting. You say that gratitude can improve your health. Yeah. You know, there's more and more evidence that having that attitude, being grateful, being thankful, is good for your health. And so here's an easy way to, to, to change that framework, instead of focusing on the person who really did you in today, focus on five things that happened today that you're grateful for. Yeah. It may be just someone said hi to you, yeah. right? Someone at, who, at, at coffee said, oh, you go first. Yeah. Just something. And before bed, think of those five things, write them down in a note notebook. Occasionally, write a note to somebody and say, you know what? Thanks so much for just saying hi. Yeah. And those things, will they'll change your, your whole mindset. It's good for your health. You'll sleep better, Less too. Less stress. Less stress. Stress it's, causes cortisol or something? Yes, to, it raises to, to those stress out. hormones, yes. which are really bad for you. Really just bad. Just changing that focus to being grateful is I good love for, that idea. It's, it's a great idea to do to kids, too, and to it, change their frame of mind. Yes, and you can do that at, you know, around the dinner table. What thing today are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? Yeah. And it, it will help you. I'm health. thankful for these tips. Yeah. Um, and finally, tell us about five minutes for you. Yes. So this is the one that I'm going to do. So I want to tell people this because I, I want to try and do this. this okay, year. I'm going to hold you to it. Yeah. And for me, it's going to be meditation. I know George meditates, Dan Harris it's meditates. It's very hard, Dr. Bay, to turn that brain off. I it tried. Is. It is. Well, you know, focus on five minutes. You know, I'm going to take on meditation. If you do it for five minutes twice a day, it's going to bring down those hormones. It's going to relax you. It's going to allow you to sleep and focus. The stress in your life is going to melt away. I am, I am more and more convinced that meditation is really, really good for our health. And I'm going to try and do it. I have trouble shutting off the brain and everything that's going on. I'm going to try five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. I'm going to do that one with you. I'm, right? saying, I'm saying it here. All right. Now. That's all it. Right. The easy Thank fives. You. Give me a high five. Yeah, I love high five. All these. There we go. Uh, really great tips. Thank yeah. you so much. Dr. B. Uh, let's hope we can stick with them.